So I wanted to make a brief video. Uh, you know, these videos are as much about news and uh, or politics or um, life's journey, uh, you, and of course future uh, future hikes and adventures. Um, but I, I, I just thought I'd talk about today because these are things you might want to think about, man. Um, you know, my wife, uh, she backed me into a corner when she moved out of the house and took a bunch of stuff. Um, so, you know, uh, her attorneys wanted me to pay $40,000 for the equity in the house, which is not that bad a deal. Um, uh, so I'm not, I'm not arguing with it. It's just how to come up with the 40000 so I thought, well, you know, why not uh, refinance the house? Uh, so I started looking into it. I went to AmericanFinance.net. You can go there. Um, they seem pretty good. Uh, the guy, uh, he certainly worked with me. Um, the first uh, proposal they put out was a convention, I mean, a, a VA loan. And uh, the, the, the fees on that were, I mean, they, they ripped veterans off, man. I mean, you know, so what if you got nothing down? I don't need a nothing down loan, you know, uh, I... I got plenty of equity in the house. So, you know, I, I told him, I said, look, man, I just need a conventional loan, uh, which I think is the way that most veterans should go. Um, but uh, then uh, a buddy of mine, he said, he says, man, have you talked to uh, Navy, Navy Federal Credit Union? And, uh, you know, I, I've been a customer of theirs for years. Uh, they had great CD rates before the Fed dropped the rates to zero. Um, so, uh, you know, that's that's when I pretty much just keep a minimum balance there and keep the account open. But I said, well, you know what, let's, let's go in and do the mortgage application. Why not, you know, or refinance application. And I don't know if I'll get the, uh, the refi, but, uh, you know, and the other thing that was really uh, unique is I could link them right to Fidelity, which is where I have my investments. And so they can, they have the information from Fidelity right there. I mean, you know, it's, I hate sharing that type of stuff because, you know, who knows? I mean, I, I assume they don't have the password. I'll certainly change the password to Fidelity if I do get the refinance, but uh, they need that information. Um, and, of course, you know, you just type in everything, and uh, you got to wait to the very end. And what blew my mind? <laughs> I mean, my mind is blown. Okay, first thing was the origination fee. So the origination fee on the... Uh, the uh, refinance, at, at, at least at Navy Federal and also American Finance for their conventional loan, 1%. 1%. So I'm asking for 120000 uh, or so, you know, uh, to refinance. And uh, that works out to like a 1000 some odd dollars. Who cares? But the thing that blew my mind, okay, right now I'm paying like 3.35%. Um, which is still dirt cheap. I wasn't going to, I wasn't planning to refinance because, you know, a lot of times it's recovering that origination fee. You know, it might take years before you recover that origination fee on a loan. But, uh, you know, of course, I, I need the money at this point. So 2.25% 2, 2. <laughs> for a refi. So, uh, you know, if you, if you haven't been looking at a refi, uh, I... I can't see a better time. I and mean, when you consider inflation is at six to, well, in, in my mind, it's six to 20%. But, uh, you know, you, you, you do the math, you know, um, and you're getting a refi on your house at 2.25%. They're practically giving the money to you. And so, uh, you know, I, it's, you know, a lot of people use leverage to make money. Now, am I suggesting you do this if you don't have the money to pay off the mortgage at any time? Uh, no. Definitely not. I mean, unless, you know, you're depending on your situation. Uh, I certainly don't do it for a home improvement if you just can't pay it off. You know, I, I, I'm i in the fortunate situation that I have the investments that I can pay the mortgage off anytime I want. But if you're going to give me money at 2.25% when inflation's sitting at 6 to 20%, you know, it's a no-brainer. Uh, so anyway, um, let's just hit on some uh, uh, future videos Um you know, the weather's been kind of crappy uh, the last couple of days, and so that's given me some time to work on the inside of the house. Uh, I've got, and that's, you know, here's another thing for you, life lesson, right? Um, you know, I worked for six months to get up to be able to help my mother in Virginia, and then, of course, I had to race back when the moving trucks were out in front of my house and my wife was moving out, taking a bunch of stuff, you know, to see what the damage was, and I'm still working on assessing all of that. But um, so... You know, what am I doing now? Well, I'm 
preparing to get back to helping my mother up in Virginia because I need to go back. So, you know, I got to make sure everything's done around the house. So, you know, stupid stuff, right? Bushes are trimmed. Gutters are blown out. All the leaves are blown. I've got my yard service paid through the end of January. Um, as soon as I, I, I'm meeting with a tax professional on Thursday to uh, assess what I can possibly take out of my IRA before the end of the year without incurring uh, huge tax penalties because uh, I don't know what my wife has done. You know, she's told me, but I, I get, you know, I'm not taking her at a word. I want her in front of a tax professional. And uh, so I've got a witness that, uh, you know, here's, here's what we're suggesting that you do before year's in. And, and you might want to do, I mean, I know it's Christmas season, but, uh, you know, these are the things you got to do before the year in, because once December 31st hits, that clock resets, baby. And, uh, you know, if you're not taking money out of your IRAs uh, when you can, as much as you can, then, uh, you know, I think you're a fool because uh, you got Biden and the Democrats. If that Build Back Better bill had gone through, uh, we would have been screwed. Uh, thank God for Joe Manchin. Uh, hopefully everybody's calling him and, uh, and praising uh, his decision uh, not to go along with that that plan. I mean, you, you do understand what was in that bill. They were going to legalize all the illegal immigrants to vote. Not only that, they were going to change the voting laws throughout the country. You know, no more voter ID would have been required in any state in the country. I, you know, basically, I, I don't know what you would do except civil war at that point. You know, I, if you're going to take away the ability of the state legislatures in, in, in the various states, which is what we set up 200 some odd years ago, okay, and you're going to say that the states can't control their own voting laws, you know, then, then what is the recourse at that point? Plus, the taxes were going to go up. You know, they, they had huge tax increases in that bill. Uh, you know, a lot of people, I mean, you know, and of course, you know, the, the way they spin it every, every single time you see it is, is, oh, it's a great thing for the country. You know, we're going to we're going to give child tax credits and, you know, we're going to do this. And we got no man. It was it, it would it, it basically the country would no longer have been, uh, um, well, somewhat capitalistic. Uh, we would have been a socialist nation at that point, and uh, it would it would have destroyed the United States, and it still might. You know, who knows? Joe Manchin's getting a lot of friction at this point. Um, he's he's isn't it amazing how? And that's the thing. That's why I make my videos. One person, Hitler, for example, Genghis Khan, Napoleon, you know, uh, 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 Churchill. Ronald Reagan, one person can change the world. And so that's why I make my videos and that's why I end them with the, with the mantra and let's just end this video. Freedom, oh freedom. Good to live in the free Republican state of Florida where we have no vaccine mandates, no jab requirements, no mask requirements, and we are free to come and do as we please and work wherever the hell we want to work. Because our economy is booming under the great leadership of Governor DeSantis. Peace out. Stay free. And, by the way, we've got $100 million going to help our waterways here in Florida. Thanks to Governor DeSantis. Woo, imagine that. I wonder what they're doing up in New York, you know. I think that money in New York is all going to pocket all the Democrats grifting. There you go. That's just me.